Hey everybody, welcome back to another LEGO City update. It's Jordan here. Today we're going to continue working on Central Park. Specifically these six base plates right here. The other day I just loosely placed all these trees there just to add some more vegetation to this area, but that's all going to change because we need to create a pathway. The first thing I'm going to do to create the pathway is lay some tan plates. You can see the pathway that's already completed around the fountain there. So it's got a tan plate base and then what we do is lay the one by one quarter round dark gray tiles and it just sort of adds a cool effect because that tan sort of pops through and you can see it. I think if I put those on the green it wouldn't really look that good right it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. For the most part the tan is actually going to be eight studs wide and then we're going to lay those tiles four studs wide and that's going to allow us to create a weaving trail or pathway through the park. Luckily for me, I had Mrs. Brixie here to help us out today and she was gonna lay all those tiles while I was taking care of some behind the scenes work for the next day's video just on the laptop beside her there. But she's just laying all those tiles. You can see we've done it in an interesting way. They're all facing one way on the left side of the park and then they're all facing the other way on the right side of the park and it just makes it look sort of symmetrical and cool. And also we did that for the botanical garden. So I wanted to keep it consistent with that. On the top side of the screen, that pathway starts 18 studs in and that's gonna align with the crosswalk on that side. And then on the bottom of the screen, that one starts two studs in and once again, it's gonna align with the crosswalk which connects to the road. Thousands of these little tiles, thankfully I found these on the pad wall. Anytime I find tiles on the pad wall, specifically dark gray or light gray, I buy a lot of them just because they are so handy when it comes to projects like this or pretty much anything in the Lego city. Just having these tiles on hand is just amazing. So there we go, the pathway has been created. Who knows how many tiles that is, it's actually ridiculous, but it connects to the main one which goes around the fountain and I'm pretty happy with the look so far. So the next thing we're doing is actually just taking green plate and we're covering up all of that exposed tan. Just it doesn't really look good. And it doesn't really matter if it's a plate higher because this is nature. There's actually going to be some elevation change in this build in the end anyway. So just going around with some 4x, 2x, 1x and also corner plates. And once again, I found most of these parts on the wall. Now that I think about it, I think those tan plates also were on the wall. So we have pretty much constructed the majority of this build with parts from the pick and build wall. That's pretty cool. The blending work definitely helps out that trail or pathway. The tan didn't look good at all. Now I gotta try and figure out what we're gonna do in the surrounding area. So this actually isn't the only park in the Lego City. I also have another park right over here by the hospital. And it actually has a pretty cool set that's integrated right into the mills plate and that is the cherry blossom bonsai tree that uses all of those pink frogs. It also has a pond, a bench, and a trail going around the pond. So I was thinking maybe this bonsai tree should be relocated, but then I thought to myself, wait a minute, I've got two bonsai trees. One's actually on display on the bulkhead shelf right above the Lego city and look what it's sitting beside, the tranquil garden. Wow, did that ever spark an idea? So maybe what I could do is take this bonsai tree out of its pot and embed it right into the park, just like I did with the other one. That might look old, but I already have one of those embedded in a mills plate. But this tranquil garden, on the other hand, it looks beautiful. And I'm thinking maybe this can be retailored and put right into this park. Wouldn't that be cool? It comes with like that little structure, the water, a nice bridge, all sorts of vegetation that uses some pretty cool parts like Technic, the white tree limbs and the flowers and also those like dark green fern elements. It's a beautiful set and maybe it can be put into this park. So honestly, I had no idea that I was going to integrate this set into the park. This was just a random idea. So now we've got a pivot and <laughs> pretty much like tear apart everything that we've worked so hard on creating today. The first thing I've got to do is take the border of the tranquil garden apart. So it's got like a bunch of tiles, a bunch of curved slopes and one by four black snot bricks as well. So some pretty good pieces there. I'm also going to remove all the trees and I'm trying to do this in a very neat and tidy way. So as I take this apart, I'm trying to file the pieces away just because it can get messy when you're doing things like this. It's actually crazy. So I've pretty much got to destroy the mill plates. It's pretty aggressive. Got to take all those four by four green plates off and the trail that we just tiled or Mrs. Brixie just tiled has to be rendered. Yeah, sort of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Build, destroy, repeat, right? That's the law of Lego. That's how you make things better. And that's 
how you get creative with it. So I'm trying to reconfigure the pathway so that I can actually have this uh, tranquil garden placed and embedded right into this park mills plate. As I take the pathway apart, I am trying to like recycle as much of the work as I can just by making sure that I have those tan plates that were removed with the gray tiles like put back in a proper position, but a lot of it's gonna have to be redone anyway. And I actually have to like split the Tranquil Garden in half just because it's on some big plates and doesn't really fit in there. I don't really wanna just take the Tranquil Garden as it is and plop it in spot. So I just pretty much rip it in half and then I put some new plates down because it's based on gray plate so i put some new gray plate down and then i'm transferring over the water details also all of like the grass and those stone and the sort of bank of the little creek that flows through the tranquil garden and then once i have the structure and the little creek and also the bridge placed i've got to try and figure out how i'm going to blend this in because the original set is like its own little unit but now i'm sort of breaking that apart placing it in a setting so there's definitely gonna have to be some changes that are going to be made to the surrounding area just to make it look natural in its current place and of course i'm going to try and do that with similar colored pieces that the original set uses so some of the dark green and also some of the dark tan just to create the base of the creek because it's really cool they use like uh, wedge plates and dark green and these like really odd shaped slopes like those dark tan ones that I'm placing right now on that edge there and I'm just trying to make this look like the original set with the parts from my inventory but also blend it in with the scene now unfortunately this can't actually be like a creek that's flowing through because there's nowhere for it to flow through so I've got to try and make it look like a little pond and it's going to be like an elongated pond that goes underneath that bridge there and it's not huge, but I think it gets the point across. And once I actually get it like cased in there, it actually looks pretty good. I know you don't have the best camera angle, so here you go. This is what it looks like so far on this side. Pretty well framed. I put some snot bricks there on the left side as well. You can add some slopes to those to blend it in. And yeah, it's coming together quite nicely. It is uh, higher than the rest of the park. But now that I have the water ready to go along with the bridge and the structure, it's time to fill in the surrounding area with plate. Yeah, so I'm just going to like mills plate around this entire thing. So I'm doing that using, once again, all the plate that I found on the pad wall, two by, one by, some of those corner plates. And I'm just making sure that I get my underlying brick corrected as well. And then as I go through, I'm doing like a little jigsaw puzzle with the pre-tiled four by four tan plates that I have just to try and make sure that I don't have to like redo all the tiling. And then it's time to start laying some of the green plate. And this is really going to make this look so much better. It sort of looked like a dog's breakfast there for a while. But as I lay more and more plates, it really comes together quite nicely. Just sort of going through and laying all the different various underlying brick and plate to fill in this area as best I can to blend it in and make it look as natural as possible in this area. So for the most part, that's all taken care of and it's time to move on to the path work. So now I get to have the pleasure of laying all of these little one by one tiles. Yes, I'm so excited. One by one tiles. You know, they take longer than the circular ones or the square ones because you got to make sure they're orientated all the same way. But it really does look good in the end and I'm pretty happy with it, especially when you get rid of all of that tan by laying the green plate around the pathway. So when I split the tranquil garden in half, I left half the details out, plus all the vegetation. So now it's time to place that in our park. And it's cool because I'm gonna be able to spread that out. Because I split it in half, I have all these extra details, and now I can place these trees. And I'm actually going to use the same technique that they use in the original set. You like frame this little two by two square, and then the tree just sits in there loosely. So you can literally move this thing, but it's just held in by gravity. It's really cool. So I'm putting the white and pink sort of cherry blossom trees off to the side. I think that's pretty neat because guests of the park are actually gonna be able to walk underneath them because they sort of go over top of the pathway. Then I'm gonna hop over onto the other side there and put that smaller tree that this set came with in the exact same way. And then the little statue as well, just on like the little turn of the path there. There's also those odd shaped corner tiles that the set came with. And I'm actually going to use those as little stepping stones leading up to the tranquil garden. And as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm realizing I should use those exact same pieces to have little pathways leading up to the fountain. I think that would be really cool. Now I'm going to place some of the existing vegetation. Some of my tree designs might change, and of course I'm going to be upgrading the vegetation in this park. It's nowhere near completion, but I'm really happy that the Tranquil Garden is fully integrated. 
because look at that. It's like night and day. I'm so happy that I was able to use this set. Like it was up on the bulkhead. You couldn't even see the thing. Look at the beautiful vegetation that it comes with. Now we're gonna be able to see it in the Lego city. I think it's gonna look spectacular by the fountain and also the botanical garden. And I still need to decide whether or not I'm going to use this bonsai tree in this park. It's actually a fairly easy decision to make. We're gonna use the bonsai tree. The first thing I do is remove it from its base and also its pot. Pull it out. It's sitting on one of those uh, four by four turntables, so it can actually rotate. That's how it's at that interesting angle. And I want to keep that sort of moving function. So what I decided to do was just remove all the mills plates and then border the one by four modified plates with the two studs using dark tan brick. Blend in those dark tan bricks with some of the odd shaped green plates. And then there's some remaining studs, and I decided to fill those in with actually the circular tiles that used to be in the base of the bonsai tree. So just like that, I've integrated the bonsai tree quite nicely in the park, and now I'm adding some stepping stones around the fountain. Later on in this video, when we're done this park, I'll show you how I actually added that bonsai tree. It was actually pretty simple, and it blends in really nicely. Now we're on flower and bench duty, essentially all of the details. The surrounding area is looking pretty good, but we need more color. So Jose and I decided to use our cool little benches that use like the fancy bricks and also the one by four modified plates with the two studs. There are eight benches going around that fountain. We need lots of places for people to sit and then we actually change the position of those stepping stones so that they lead up to the bench. So you can sit on the bench, you can have a look at the fountain or you can just enjoy the flowers around you because our plan is to make this one massive garden which is like an extension of the botanical garden. So you've got to just cover this place with all sorts of different flowers. Going to use a bunch of different pieces, whether it be the leaf elements, the one by one modified studs that actually look like flowers. Some of those big pink flowers, which I found on the pab wall. Also some of our flowered bushes, flowers that use the bamboo piece and then the little stem element, which both came from the pab wall as well. And then the colorful leaves along with the flower on top so you can actually hold it in place on top of the stem. Long time ago, I ordered some of these like massive yellow flowers from Bricks and Pieces, I think it was, and I've still got those in my inventory. I've actually got a lot of different flowers and colorful pieces, which will help add lots of color to this build. Because right now it looks pretty green, and this is sort of like an extension of the botanical garden, and we want to use as many different varieties of flowers as we possibly can. I actually really like those tiny trees that came with the tranquil garden. They're like the drill pieces. You'd see them being used as like drills, maybe in like a, a miner set or a, a gold mine set or a volcano set or whatever it may be, but they make those little dark green trees and they look fantastic. So Jose and I actually worked as a team on this project, so it's pretty cool that we got her insight on it as well. While the kids were sleeping, we worked on it together. Or sometimes I would be upstairs with the kids, hanging out with them, tending to them, feeding them, doing all the dishes, cleaning up after them, while she would actually be working on the flower details. But there's so many different varieties of flowers and different types of vegetation that we've put on these six base plates, and it really came together quite well. I'm really excited about this project and I can't wait to place it in the Lego city. So we're going to take care of that right away, but first let's have a look at this. All right, check it out. We've got our pathway going around the fountain with the benches and some nice evenly distributed flowers all over this thing. All sorts of different trees as well. The trees on the border, the basic ones using the 2x2 two two circular bricks, I might be changing those up. We might add a little bit more to them, maybe some more leaf elements just to fill them in a little bit more. But yeah, I love this tranquil garden here. I think I was able to frame it in quite nicely so it no longer looks like a creek. It's more so like a pond. I love the colorful vegetation that it came with. There's just so many different part types that went into it. And just getting down at those camera angles where you have sort of like a POV shot of this park looks fantastic. So here we have the bonsai tree. You can see it can actually turn in its spot there and it can very easily be removed because once again, it's on those modified one by four plates. There's the turntable on the bottom of it. It's got that rounded element, so that's why I had to fill it in. There's also the white turntable piece, but you can barely see that because I was able to fill in this area quite nicely with those tiles and also the wedge plates. And it's very easy to remove and put back in place. So I'm pretty happy with the integration of that. It's actually integrated far better than the other one in the city. So all sorts of potted plants around as well. And I really like this one over here. I built it using a four-sided snot brick. And then once again, those little like lipstick elements that go into the snot brick. And that very easily connects to the flowers because they have like the axle hole on the bottom. So pretty simplistic design, but 
I think it looks very good and it fills those pots quite nicely. So yeah, lots of different stuff going on here. So much different color. I was really struggling trying to figure out what I was going to do with this park, but I'm really happy that we went with a massive garden. All right, here we go. It's time to place it in the Lego City with the Botanical Garden. First thing I've got to do is just slide that Botanical Garden back in its position. We pull it forward just to take a look at the flowers there and try and replicate what some of those flowers look like just so there's some consistency between the builds. And now it's time to place the massive fountain plate, which is actually four plates all together. I didn't merge the six plates, so it's still relatively easy to move this massive piece. And then finally, the last two plates would have the tranquil garden, and that will finish it all up. There is a bit of blending that had to happen on the backside of that structure of the tranquil garden, but that was very easy to do with some 1x4 green plate. But there we go. It's placed in the Lego City. The Central Park is looking pretty sweet, in my opinion. The Lego Botanical Garden from the Lego Friends lineup is pretty cool. So I actually used Brick Artisan's instructions to create that, but then I gave it its own mills plate and changed a bunch of the stuff up around it just to make it look more cohesive. I used a bunch of parts from my own inventory. But there we go, look at that, Central Park. Oh man, there's so much like detail and different things in there that just make it pop. And I like that it's like low to the ground so you can see the modular buildings all around. Specifically behind it, you can see the Avengers Tower, the Ghostbusters HQ, you got the Gringotts Bank to the left of it as well, the beautiful Jazz Club Boutique Hotel. And I just love getting down at that angle of like a minifigure and just sort of peering through the garden. One thing I'll have to do is maybe add some more minifigures, but I don't want this place to be like crazy full of minifigures, you know what I mean? I was really happy that I was able to build this today. Thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the very near future. Farewell.